so you uh, heard in the previous uh, sessions about the privacy uh, i think it was from so siemens and also you uh, heard from deepak about the the accuracy of the data so the the account aggregator ecosystem is about you know you know to share your consented data uh, you know with any regulated entity who who's able to you know you provide you a service so the actual thing is you know we all have seen when you use the use the internet you know everybody is selling something to you because they know your your browsing habits but over here in account aggregator what we are doing is we are allowing the each individual and an msme to use their own data okay to access a service which they are interested in so you know the the entire thing is the user the data principle is in the center of this entire thing and it is up to them with whom they want to share the data so so this is the the crux of the flow like uh, you know how you all are you know very familiar with the, the the upi apps you know your upi app on your upi app you give your consent to make a payment and the money goes from bank one to bank two so uh, account aggregator is actually the same you, you will be going to give the consent on an account aggregator app which are rbi regulated entities the account aggregators you know to share your financial data in upi it happens only from one bank to another bank but in account aggregator you have you know all kinds of financial data uh, you know it's only from the regulated entities you know the banks your insurance your capital market gst and all of that and it will be shared with one entity okay where you are giving the consent so if you are applying for a bank loan you can say that from the which bank your capital market your portfolio you are able to share and over here what happens is all the data which goes you know to the financial information user it is actually going directly from fip it has a digital signature so there is no chance of fraud at all you you are nobody is able to tamper uh, the information at all and all the information which is going to the fio is in machine readable format so the fio you know either it is a bank nbfc and insurance is able to digest the data and inform you in real time let that if you qualify you know for this or not so what is it it actually provides because you know in the offline world as you know the cost of you know you know processing a file is extremely high it is as high as say about 700 rupees in account aggregator you know uh, in order to do that the same thing will be uh, about 70 to 100 rupees also it will be in real time and there is absolutely no fraud and the most important thing is all information is shared only with your consent also the account aggregator framework has already having the so principles of what you call the dpdp your digital personal data protection bill so all information which is shared is with your consent and the one seeking your information has to declare what is the purpose for which they are asking your data and for how long okay uh, you know they will be you know you are processing the data so all those principles are already there and uh, you know he, here if you see that you know uh, if you see the way it is in the in the, the in the end the, the you know the fourth so pillar and if you see the one the way it is being done uh, you know now like when you give your scan documents you can see the the accuracy and the trust and the cost is all high but if you use the the account aggregator you know framework you see only the pros so where are we now because I, you know the everything i explained isn't actually theory we have already about 500 to 600 entities which are already live on this ecosystem and uh, as of march 2024 about of, you know 43000 crores of loans were given out using this so framework uh, and about so 2.015 billion accounts are already having the facility of aa 
So, uh, okay, I, I will skip the FIP. No, oh, so, no, uh, you know, the currently the financial types which are there are, are the ones I explained, the bank accounts, etc. And you will see this here, you know, the joint accounts, your, your income tax, provident fund, all, all these kinds of data will also go live on AA. And after that, you know, we want to see that if you are able to share your, you know, your property or records, etc. also on this so framework. So, you know, so over here you are able to see that, you know, how, how over the, the last three years the amount of loans which were given out using the account aggregator of framework has increased and as I informed you in FY24, like up to FY24 about 43,000 crores were actually given out and the average size of each loan was about a lakh and of course as the penetration and the adoption of AA increases. Our aim is the, the, the average uh, of uh, loan size will be about 10,000 or so. So why should uh, the, the, you know, the AA entities actually use AA? See, it becomes very important. You all have heard about companies having actually a balance sheet, but it, I think it becomes important that an, an individual and MSME, okay, should also have a balance sheet. So, and the only way you, you are able to generate actually the balance sheet on the fly is if you are having access to, you know, all kinds of, you know, your financial information. Now, if you want um, access to your information, you have to download all that and you need to do it. So manually, already now, you do have few apps which are using account aggregator by which you are able to yeah, generate your balance sheet. So, and if the, uh, the account aggregator is implemented by your, your public sector banks across all their products, you, you know, they'll be able to see an increase of so, so profit of about two and a half lakh crores, you know, over the, so, so three years, and you know, for the private banks, you know, there so profits would only increase by three and a half lakh crore. So with our account aggregator, you know, they're able to scale up. You know, they're able to serve. You know, all those who were not having the access to you know all these services, and you know, because it's a pure digital, uh, the thing. Even when they were going to increase the the user base, there is no need to increase the staff. So, Samati is actually a so not-for-profit body, Section 8, and uh, so we on our own are not an account aggregator, and we have been s implementing, you know, uh, you know, this AA framework, which is from Reserve Bank of India, by working with all the AA entities over the last five years, and we are ensuring that each use case at all these banks and BFCs are using the framework by which the entity and the customer are actually benefiting. 